Hi, this is Miss McCauley, and this is Dividing by Decimals, Decimals by Decimals, Part 2. Okay, in order to wrap up this lesson, let's talk about a couple of reminders. There should never be any decimals in your divisor. Whatever you do to the divisor, you must do to the dividend. This is super important. Do not be afraid to add zeros. That's also very important. So if you're trying to bump your decimal and there are no places to bump it, you need to add some zeros in order to be able to make that happen. Okay, let's go back to the original um, example about spike and how many um, pictures we can put of spike on our disk. Okay, so let's go back and do that. So remember, we have a DVD that has 848 megabytes of space on it. Each of the movies that I made about my dog Spike are 26.5 megabytes. We want to know how many of those movies will fit on the DVD that is 848 megabytes of space on it. So the way we would do the problem is 848 divided by 26.5. So let's go ahead and write this down. Okay divided by 26.5. Okay, the first thing we should do is bump our decimal. Over here we don't see the decimal, so we will add it. We'll add a zero. We'll bump it and go straight to the roof. And then we need to divide. Okay, so this is a big number. It's a three-digit number. So we would want you to use a calculator to see how many times this will go into the number. 265 will obviously not go into 8, so we will put a zero here. It also will not go into 84, but it will go into 848. So 848 divided by 265 is 3. We will place a 3 on top of the 8 and multiply 3 times 26.5. 3 times 26.5 or 265 would be 795. When we subtract, 8 minus 5 is 3. We must borrow here. 14 minus 9 is 5, and 7 minus 7 is 0. Then we should come over here and bring down our 0. How many times will 265 go into 530? That will be 2 times. 2 times 265 happens to be 530. And we get 0 left over. So our final answer is 32. So this means that we can place... 32 movies on this DVD. Okay? Go ahead and add one more page. And we're going to do one more problem that might end up um, with a little bit of a crazier answer. So let's just see what we can come up with here. Let's do 321 divided by 0.7 or how about 0 0.07, and let's see what happens. Okay, so 321 divided by 0 0.07. First thing we want to do is bump our decimal one, two places to get it to be a whole number and to the wall. Whatever we do to the divisor, we must do to the dividend. So add a decimal, add two zeros because you need to bump it one, two times, make your house a little bit longer, and bring the decimal straight up to the roof and now divide like normal. Seven cannot go into three, so we'll place a zero there. Seven can go into 32 four times. Four times seven is 28. Subtract, 12 minus eight is four. Bring down the one. Seven goes into 41. Um, let's see, that would be five times. Five times seven is 35. If we subtract, we get 6. Let me squish this up just a little bit so we've got more room. And we will bring down our 0. Divide again. 7 goes into 60. Um, 8 times. 8 times 7 is 56. Subtract. Never forget your borrowing. 10 minus 6 is 4. Bring down our last 0. 7 goes into 40. Um, that will be 5 times. 5 times 7 is 35. Subtract, we get 5 again. Okay, now what? Hmm, we have told you that we are not allowed to have remainders anymore. So what should we do? We cannot just leave the 5 hanging out there. 
we have to add another zero and bring it down. Okay, seven goes into 50 how many times? That would be seven times. Seven times seven is 49 with another remainder of one. Hmm, now what do we do? Well, it kind of depends on the problem. Sometimes the problem will tell you to round to the nearest tenth. Sometimes it will say round to the nearest hundredth. Sometimes it will say um, use a repeating bar. You kind of have to look at the problem and see what makes sense. In this case, we have a pretty long answer, 4,585.7 with a little one down there. Let's go ahead and divide one more time so that we can round our answer. So we'll add one more zero, bring it down. Seven goes into 10. I'm sorry that I'm running out of space a little bit and I can't really squish it up anymore, but I'll bring it up here. So seven times seven, oh, I'm sorry. Seven goes into 10 one time. One times seven is seven. We subtract and we get three. So let's go ahead and round to the nearest tenth. So I'm going to just write that right here. Round to the nearest tenth. Okay, so the tenths place is right here. We would look next door, see that we have a one, Five or more means to add one more when we round. Four or less, just ignore. So we would leave the seven the way it is. And our final answer would be 4,585.7. Okay, if you find yourself in a situation where the number that you get down here just keeps repeating and every single time you get the same number up here, you would draw a little line like over the last digit that repeats on and on and on and that's also fine okay the one thing we do not do anymore is have a remainder okay I hope this helps and I hope you guys do a great job with dividing decimals by decimals this is the last concept in unit one um, and you will be soon ready to go on to the birthday cake unit bye for now